Okay guys, welcome to Crazy Burger. In this video we're going to be looking at iRAM Arcade 1, the new car that's been announced by Evercade that's going to release at the end of 2022. Without further ado, let's get started with the video. Okay guys, iRAM Arcade 1 comes complete with 6 games. Now, I'd say arguably this uh, car is more recognisable than the Tour Plan 1. People probably more recognise R-Type and Moon Patrol um, rather than the other cut, but there is only six games. That is a little bit disappointing to me because I know Irem had a lot of games. Um, I know there is another cart planned probably for 2023, but it would have been nice to sort of see more games on the cart. But anyway, let's have a look at the games that are actually included. So we've got the, obviously the big one I'd say would be R-Type, which is a kind of a, one of the best shoot ups ever created. And it's coming to our kids. Now that is a definite big thing for sure. Our type was renowned as being one of the best shooters ever on pretty much every format that it was released on. But it is a very, very difficult game. But at least with the arcade version, you can maybe just keep adding coins and keep continuing. Um, another one of um, Irem's biggest hits was Moon Patrol. Um, it's probably, what I think it was one of their first games actually that they actually released. And they are uh, another Japanese um, sort of company as well. Um, there's also In The Hunt, um, which is kind of a, like a submarine style scrolling shooter. It is very difficult, but it's partly from the same makers um, of Metal Slug. We also have another kind of a scrolling shooter, so to speak. It's called Battle Chopper. It's a little bit different from your regular shoot 'em up game. You need to sort of destroy things below and bottom with the blocks, as you see uh, in the, the picture there. Um, the other games, Lightning Swords, which is a kind of a side scrolling slash them up so to speak a little bit like ninja spirit kind of thing um shinobi those kind of games and there's an american football game called 10 yard fight um which is i suppose it's quite cool it adds a little bit of variety but it's, it's not really john madden so to speak but it's it's not bad from what i've played but anyway without further ado let's get stuck into playing these games i'll give you my opinion and what i think overall of this cart let's go let's have a look at the games Okay guys, going to start with R-Type, probably the most famous and iconic game of the actual cart. Is it the best uh, shoot 'em up of all time? It might be one of them, it might be up there, but it is notoriously difficult. I do remember this being released in pretty much every format back in the day. I remember playing the Commodore 64 version and pretty much not being very good at that either. Um, not my favourite genre, but there's no doubt this is a very, very good game. Um, you can continue, obviously, with it being arcade, but it really sends you back to checkpoints rather than continuing from where you left off. So you still need to be pretty good at it. It certainly has a good challenge to it. And you can obviously charge up your weapon by holding down the fire button. You can have these collectibles that will assist you in your fight. And it's definitely very good. Um, obviously, you can see there's some... Uh, alien vibes going on here, um, which is kind of cool. The graphics are really nice um, and you obviously have bosses at the end of the levels as well. It is very tough though, it is notoriously difficult, it is a very tough challenge. So if you're into your shooters, you are absolutely going to love this. This will be right up there as one of the best cards for you if you absolutely love R-Type. There's no doubt about it, it's a really good game and we are absolutely spoiled for shoot em ups on the Evercade now. We have absolute tons of them. Um, is that a good thing, bad thing? I don't know. I'd like to see more variety, but um, if you like your shooters, you are absolutely in heaven, no doubt about it. Okay, next game on the cart would be Moon Patrol, which I remember playing on the Atari 2600 back in the day, and it's a very decent game. It's very playable, it's a lot of fun. Um, obviously, you've got your jump button to sort of jump over the sort of holes or chasms and obstacles that get pretty much through in <laughs> your path. You can fire at obstacles um, as well to take them out, and you can obviously fire above it all the UFOs that are trying to take you out. Um, it's really good fun, it's absolutely brilliant. The first level is pretty straightforward, it's not the biggest challenge, but it gets ferociously difficult after this. But I really like this one, um, I really enjoy it, it's so playable, it's fun. Um, and interestingly, they've actually upgraded this for the Intellivision Amico. Whether we see that 
and it sees the light of day, I do not know. But it was actually a really good upgrade that they done, and this is still a classic, I think, even now. It's still very playable. Okay guys, here we go, we've got In The Hunt, um, which is apparently from the makers of the Metal Slug series. You can probably tell when you're actually playing it, because it does have those kind of similar vibes to it. And definitely this could be one of the best games I've probably seen on the other kid. It really does look fantastic. There's a lot going on, there's a lot of detail in the graphics. It does kind of look a lot more like a modern retro game. Obviously it was from 93, so um, things have moved on a little bit from the, the previous game, Moon Patrol. Um, and it's very good, but it's absolutely notoriously difficult. There's so much going on that it's impossible to avoid all the things that are going on in, under the water here. It's obviously kind of a submarine shooter. You can take out um, the mines, you can take out the enemies with your sort of missiles here, and you can also shoot at things above the water um, and below as well. And it's honestly, it's really good fun, but it's unbelievably difficult. There's so much going on it does get really confusing, but this is definitely a classic game, it's really, really decent, um, and it's a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, I, c I can't imagine playing this very much in the arcades, because you would spend fortunes and fortunes trying to even get somewhere. I don't think I would last any longer than maybe one minute at most um, playing this, it's so difficult. So, to be able to play this and continue just inserting your... Sort of, Virtual coins is obviously a bonus and it does maybe add a little bit more fun to it rather than frustration. Um, this is definitely a decent, decent game. Okay, next game we have Battle Chopper. Um, so it's another kind of a shoot 'em up. Um, it's not a traditional shoot 'em up. You kind of get options. You need to destroy blocks above and below to collect a lot of the sort of it looks like gems, and you it basically translates into money as you're going through the level. Um, it's another decent looking game and kind of fun, but I found this one extremely frustrating and pretty difficult. Um, obviously, you just got infinite continues. You can just keep playing on, but I found that the enemies just keep respawning all the time. Um, you really have no peace and quiet. You basically these little helicopters just keep 
appearing all the time and you just don't get any peace. You, you really have to just go on with it rather than trying to take them all out because they will keep on coming. So you destroy the, the blocks above and below um, and you sort of collect these gems for some money. Um, you can sort of land on the surface below and sort of drop your bombs and die spectacularly as well. Um, it, you know what, it's really good but I found it really, really tough. It got really frustrating and as much as it looks good and plays nice, I just got a little bit frustrated playing this and probably swore quite a lot of times, which obviously I'm not going to put in the channel because that would just not be good, but still a fun little game and it's, it's obviously got a huge challenge there, so it's not bad, it's not bad at all, just pretty frustrating. <laughs> Okay, next we have Lightning Swords, um, which I've actually really enjoyed this one. It's a bit like Ninja Spirit, Shinobi, Strider, that kind of thing, and it's really, really decent. I really enjoyed this one. It's maybe a little bit repetitive, because you're really just going through the levels, jumping, slashing uh, away at the enemies that just keep on appearing, um, your usual kind of arcade coin guzzler type of thing, but you know, it's a lot of fun. It's my type of game, I really like a good platform sort of game, um, and I got kind of a me uh, Mega Drive vibes from it due to the sort of sound bites that was coming from the game, which was a bit weird for me. Uh, even though it's an arcade game, it kind of felt as if I was probably playing a Mega Drive game. Um, if you just sort of listen to the sound bites, they sound a lot familiar to a lot of the stuff we've seen on the renovation collection, for example. Which is kind of weird, but it's a really fun game. Quite a good challenge, there's a few bosses that appear occasionally now and then and there they take absolutely forever to die and um, so you would uh, probably spend a lot of coins in the arcade if you were playing this for real obviously we don't uh, need to do that we can just insert those virtual coins and that's fantastic you can just keep playing through and enjoy the game for what it is and it's a really decent game definitely no doubt about it Okay guys, last but by no means least, it's 10 Yard Fight, which well, quite clearly it's an American football game. Um, that's not a bad thing because we need a little bit of variety on this car, I think this is definitely switching up a little bit. Um, a strange inclusion maybe considering it's nothing like the other games, um, but that's not a bad thing because this is actually pretty decent. It obviously has a slight John Madden feel to the actual play although they doesn't have that kind of variety that that game has. But it's still actually really good fun to play. You're pretty much fighting against the clock here. You've got 60 seconds to try and make your way up the field and get that touchdown. Um, you don't have a lot of varieties in the play. You can see your, your sort of receiver is running away there. You have the option you can run away, throw it from left to right, or actually chuck it to that receiver and try and make as far a field as you possibly can. 
And you know, it is actually good fun. I really enjoyed this game. It's just notoriously difficult again. It's an arcade game, so it's going to be tough. The other players in the opposite team are pretty much all over you. You think you're sort of way in free here, but they're pretty much all over you before you know it. So it is tough to try and make it. And you can see the clock's already going down to 16 seconds here. We've got little chance to try and make it to get a touchdown. But, you know, this would be a good challenge. I actually quite enjoyed it, and I think a lot of people will really be quite surprised that it's actually very playable. It's good fun. <laughs> Okay guys, my overall thoughts on the iRream collection on Evercade. My overall thoughts are that this cart is extremely good. There's no doubt about it, there's some real high quality games on this cart. My only wish is that there were slightly more of them. Six is just a little bit disappointing. I think it's the wrong way to be going. I'd like to see more games, but yeah, we don't want to see tons of games and it's just too many games and they're not enough uh, quality, for example. But Saying that, there are a few games I would have loved to have seen, like Ninja Baseball Batman we could have added, but maybe that's coming in the second collection. Um, it's definitely really good, there are a lot of decent games here, it's very tough, if you love R-Type you are going to be absolutely in heaven. Um, there's a lot of other decent games on here as well, like Moon Patrol, um, In the Hunt, um, and obviously you've got that American football game as well, which is pretty decent. You know, overall, it's actually alright, it's pretty good. It's great to have such a, a, a big name, so to speak, in the arcade world uh, in iRim, and they made a lot of decent games. Only six games, though, I would have loved to have seen more, but no doubt about it, this is a very, very good collection. Guys, thanks for watching the video today. Please like, subscribe, and we'll catch you again in the next one. Bye for now.